few weeks ago I put myself in a challenge that I wanna record a video using all my gear. So basically I have my Canon T7i, my phone and my GoPro and just test it out how to find out the easiest workflow, how I could just color grade stuff. As I'm trying to document more, to make it more documentary style what I'm doing, I wanna play more with the angles and different, like record it me from different angles. Actually, I found out one interesting thing, what I don't know why I missed and actually seeing in community forums and Facebook groups, I have seen, I have noticed that it just seems that a lot of people don't know about it. There is such a thing, such an option as color matching. And it's not ideal at all, but it gives you that psychology thing that if you color match these three footages, they look at least pretty close and then you just need to tweak and pick a bit to make them look almost the same. And it's way more easier and less scary than you have just three footages but looks totally different totally different and you don't know what to do with them. It's a great start and I just wanted to share with you guys. So I recorded this quickly like interview style footage what I'm gonna use in this example. So here we are in the Premiere Pro and this is the footage what I recorded before I just cut out some unnecessary parts and we can just take a look how it looks. As we can see DSLR footage is flat and take a look at It's pretty flat and and this is the phone footage. I took out the audio so we can just later on match, mix and match it. As you can see, as regular for the phone, it's um, a bit saturated and definitely, definitely not the same look. So usually the first thing what comes in your mind is let's apply the LUT and LUT's gonna be that magical wand what's gonna fix everything. and. Uh, here I have like small loot, what I'm usually using to just balance a bit the colors. Everything is good here and it did actually a pretty light, nice job, but if you look now, when you're applying to other footage, it, it looks horrible. So if you're going the here in a color panel, usually you can open it by pressing windows and luminetry color and going down here, uh, where is the color wheels and match. There is such an option as color match. So if you're going to this footage, what needs to be matched, and we're gonna go to press compression view. Basically, you can see your existing video and the time from other ones. You can just slap this one and uh, find whatever you want in the timeline. For example, so I want this one to match with this one. So what I'm gonna do is, first I'm gonna add, add adjustment layer, because I want to make adjustments here in adjustment layer instead of actual video and then I'm gonna go to apply matches and it's gonna apply all these settings to this match adjustment layer so let's press so it's analyzing it's pretty quick process and look what just happened it immediately looks way more better look at this if you're turning off how it was before looking now before as we can see like totally different footages we can even do like this move this one here and move this one here so as you can see on the right is the new footage and uh, on the left is the old footage what is now pretty 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 close to my DSLR footage and and now I would just add another adjustment layer over here just some uh, basic options so we just bring down a bit the contrast no maybe maybe up and drop the highlights a bit down a bit shadows and i'm gonna bring down a lot of whites because as we can see here all the light reflection is going in the wall but here as i'm lighting myself from the side this side is really really bright so i'm gonna bring down the whites i think that looks pretty good and I like the result. I'm just gonna quickly put all together and let's watch it as it would be like actual interview footage. So as we can see, barely can notice and it looks like I was shooting with the same camera and it looks great. So use the color merge because it's gonna save you a ton of time, especially if you just need to deliver a video for the YouTube. Of course, for the bigger projects, you're gonna need to make 
way more deeper color corrections but this is fast and it works of course it always depends from the footage what you have because in my last video in my last video what i shot first part of the day i was shooting with my canon uh, dslr and only in the evening i was shooting with my phone so this kind of footage is a bit harder to color match because it's totally different lighting and uh, total totally different time of the day so it's gonna require way more work like to color like adjust the levels on your own but if you're shooting in a room like I did in this footage then it's gonna be pretty easy to just color match the footage and or you're shooting in the same part of the day like you're you're shooting with your DSLR and your friend is documenting you with a phone so you're gonna get pre pretty similar results. I hope this video was useful for you don't forget to subscribe and hit that zing zing bell down there and see you next time bye